Okay, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, everyone, whatever you may be watching this. This is Vic, Vic's Basement Brewcast, brought to you, of course, by South Jersey Beer Scene, southjerseybeerscene.com, Facebook, Instagram, and also by our friends at Brew U. So we are back on video now. Uh, last couple of shows we did were on audio. And as you can see, Richard is not with me yet. You know, he didn't get an inject injection of good-looking manliness in him, although Richard is good-looking and manly in his own right. Uh, as Justin Timberlake said, we brought Sexy back, and I have Mr. Tom Renzulli co-hosting with me. I don't know how I can live up to that <laughs> intro. My God. How is everybody? So, Tom, very good to have you here. And as Glad I said, we are back here at Audio, and we are at, I guess, the newest brewery in Cape May County. We are at Bear Brewing with the owners. We have Steve and Kat Wilson here with us. So, welcome to the show, both of you. Yeah, Thank you for having us. us. So, glad, so glad to be out here. A uh, beautiful place we have. Uh, it's an awesome you know, place. Awesome design, very nice and almost woodsy, if you can call that. And I want to uh, call it industrial rustic. Industrial yeah, it was hard. Like, someone asked us what our theme was. I was like, I guess Industrial rustic <laughs> is, <laughs> is what I'm we'll, going to we'll call go with it. That. Yeah, I like it's that. official. Like yeah. <laughs> you're very much better with those words than me, Tom. <laughs> you know, you're like a poet anyway. So yeah, More than three syllables, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but we are here uh, with Bear Brewing. And, you know, as a, a home brewer, it's always, I'm always almost proud when someone who I met first as a home brewer actually brings a dream to fruition and opens this. And I think we were talking before, Steve, you actually were one of the first basement guests. Yeah, uh, this was back in 2019. I remember being on the show and yeah. we had this idea that we're gonna open a brewery yeah. and we were, we were real close to it, but right. I, I didn't want to say anything yet right, because right. Yeah. We, were too, we were too new with it. And yeah, um, yeah it was great you know, talking with everybody yeah. and, and coming to s in the basement. And, yeah. And about the Little did you know that it was going to take three years. <laughs> yeah. well, Every yeah. bit of it. That's the thing, you know, that's COVID what happens. Through, yeah. that, was actually, that was actually one of the first podcasts. That's before we had our director on the video side, Mr. Johnny Cashew. Who has new glasses now? Johnny, awesome <laughs> glasses. Love those, nice. love those new glasses you had here. It's like <laughs> Michael Douglas from Falling Down. I'm a little scared. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, Johnny, as always, fries, <laughs> as always, is going to be doing a wonderful job making us look halfway decent. So most appreciated, Johnny. So let's go back to here. We're here at Bear Brewing. Uh, is this actually, is this Cape May here now? What's the actual town we're in? Right uh, now? It's Cape May County. Cape May County? Yep. Um, there's, I don't know, Lower Township? Lower Township or, uh, or North, North Cape May. But cool. I would say you won't hear Cape May Brewing Company say they're not in Cape May. So we don't have <laughs> <laughs> Now, but Cape May County is very organized because it's it's like an order. Like the most southern one is lower, and yep. then you have middle, and then you have upper. Yeah. So for those of us they made it simple. For the yeah. longest yeah. time, I thought the entire state was lower, middle, and upper township, oh, okay. and it was really confusing for me growing up, being like, <laughs> "What do you mean?" <laughs> 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 I thought the whole it state. It is something. Was, uh, it's like when you come over that bridge yeah. into Cape May County, it's, it's, it's like a its world. own state. Mm -hmm. down it, really down. it really is. It really is. It's very blessed to be here. So uh, tell us the. Genesis of Bear Brewing. Where where did the idea come from? Like I said, I know when you were in the basement when we did the podcast, you know, we actually talked off mic yeah. about it. And it's one of the things you talk about because our other guests we had on that show, we had Chris Lewis, who had just opened Oyster Creek Brewing. Right. I think he was almost a year into it. A home brewer decided to do that. Um, Ian Barlett was there, who is from um, Arc Love Ocean County Home Brewers, yep. who at the time wasn't the head brewer of Battle River, but he became the head brewer of Battle River. Uh, was also there. Also, Sean was there. Who, does Sean yeah. still work over at Slack Tide also? As far as I know, he yeah. does. Yeah. Sean, Sean yeah. was there. So we had a nice discussion about home brew. So I know you talk about it, but tell us about the whole genesis of Bear Brewing, where the idea came from, and yeah. uh, you know how you arrived at where you are right now. Uh, well, mainly when I met my wife, Kat, um, our first Christmas together, we got a homebrew kit mm -hmm. for, and then, um, the, the first batch came out great. The second batch came out 
not great. I think that's what sparked the the homebrew level of you know what what can I do to make this better? Right, you and got it right the first time. Yeah. What can I do the second time? And it's it's nice you can always you know buy a new toy or build a new you know fermenter box or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I, I just fell in love with brewing. And uh, I guess we were both kind of at our jobs, and we knew you know we wanted to do something else. Nice. Um, so yeah, he had an auto repair business and he came home like every day miserable and i was like listen i love you but like i'm not going to be married to someone yeah. miserable nobody, so nobody, i talked him into selling it nobody's happy when they get their car fixed nobody comes yeah. to me and says hey oh, steve yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like oh so i wanted to do something only three thousand dollars steve sure, yeah, here, sure here, here you go, go. <laughs> everyone's always happy to get a beer right yeah. Yeah. absolutely so we um we spent a year writing a business plan mm -hmm. spent another year finding Smart. the property and yeah, I think we actually started in 2018. It's the first time we yeah. um, LLC'd or incorporated, whatever you call it. Um, so it took us four years to get here. Yeah. But people always ask us, how did we get here? And honestly, it was just such a blur of paperwork and stress mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, not sure what we're doing. And, oh, yeah. and But finally, we just trudged through and made it to this point. So. Any recommendation I can give anybody that's trying to open a brewery is hire a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Engineer. It's, yeah, and a lawyer and a good engineer, because you're going to be spending the money anyway. I really think right now in New Jersey, there's probably quite a few lawyers that are yeah. Yeah, yeah. Specialized, specialized in this type of thing, mm -hmm. business oh. and brewery business. I'm sure that that's actually a new tip that we have from someone wanting to open a brewery is mm -hmm. get a lawyer. Get yeah, a yeah lawyer. we didn't They'll uh, fill out all the paperwork for you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we did everything ourselves, and it was yes. not worth the saving. Yeah, a lot. A lot right. of times, sometimes it's worth the money. <laughs> it wasn't yeah. worth a lot of times, money. the number one thing is is make a plan and have a dollar amount that you're going to be spending and then double that. Yep. Yes. And then you're, <laughs> then you're there. Same with yeah. time. The yeah. time you think it's going to take, then you triple that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And we basically did that all mm -hmm. the yeah. time. Let, <laughs> let's, right. let's go back to the to home brews that you mm -hmm. made. Which one was the good one? Which one was the bad one? Uh, Kitten's First Ale was my... Very first one, yeah. named after me. And yeah. then the second one, I don't remember. stout. It was called like blackout or something. Oh yeah, I did that one. That yeah. was like it was a black IPA when everybody was making black. black yeah, IPA. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And so. then I started home brewing, and the very first beer I brewed was a Oktoberfest, mm -hmm. and I went to the competition, and I actually won my first Ooh, beer. Ooh, wow. yeah. the, the first one, you made. The first one I made. He's like, you're just a beginner's luck. Yeah. <laughs> Show off. And then the second one I made was like it was called Make Your Mark. And it was like a maker's mark, bourbon, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. wine, okay. and it was terrible. It got last. I really went <laughs> like first to last. So we went through the same frustrations, you know, with that learning. But yeah, and it's, uh, you brew the uh, the pale ale. Mm -hmm. It's one of our top sellers. Too. Okay, I love yeah. the pale ale. Yeah, the pale. Uh, that's what I'm drinking. Talk a little bit about <laughs> yeah. your, talk a, bit, a little bit about your uh, your recipe building. You know, how do you? How well, do you he build? really helps me a lot with the recipe building. I'll be honest with you. Normally, it's our. It's Sorry to say, it's our pillow, pillow talk now. It's like, yeah. okay, so what should we do with this? And you know, we have a great program that helps us mm -hmm. out. But he really helps mainly with the recipe building, and I'm okay. just good at following good. directions. Figure out what you want. Figure, to yeah, figuring out the yeah, style like, that you want to do. Yeah, and yeah. like, okay, I know I want these hops, I want these flavors, mm -hmm. and you know, these malts will complement it. But mm -hmm. you know. When it comes, I know what I want, but he knows like I how feature. much to put in each <laughs> right. one. I'm like, yeah. I want it to taste like this. I want it Which to be like important. this. I want this color. Yeah. But he does like all the. Okay, you need a cup of flour, a cup yeah. of baking soda. He's that guy. <laughs> right. I'm just like, I want to make a beer. <laughs> so really give him a lot of credit yeah. on that. But that's actually very impressive that the first beer mm -hmm. that you did and entered the competition yeah, was an Oktoberfest. Yeah, I really do think I got lucky. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's but not. Still, that's gotta. Really gotta that's not necessarily a simple smash yeah. beer, you know, one grain. You yeah. know, you I don't really know how I did it. More so complicated. Long ago well, now. that's, uh, you know, You're some, like, I can sometimes do this. it happens. Yeah, it was. And it's fun. Like I said, um, we brew almost every beer together, and he, I'm still learning a lot every day, but he's really teaching me so much, and he's a great teacher. And I'm proud to say that we do everything together. You know, mm -hmm. it's fun. It's fun. T talk about the name Bear Brewing. Where does that come from? So he tells the story better, but it does come from my maiden name. And you know, when we started dating, he's going to be embarrassed, but I called him Bunny, and he would call me Bear because my maiden name is Bear Rins, so he always shortened it to Bear, and so that's where the name came from. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was going back and forth with a bunch of kind of catchy, like silly names. Mm -hmm. I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do, and I was talking with my father-in-law, and he's like, "It doesn't matter what the name is; just pick something you love and name it that." And I said, "Oh, I love Catherine, so I want to name it after her." Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> and like, like, like some of the names, it also opens up that avenue. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have a lot of fun yeah, with it. Yeah. And then, like I said, the logo kind of came naturally after that. 
um, well, not too naturally after a few beers. You right. know, bear, we wanted to be Here. a bear, right? Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had a picture of the first drawing. It's pretty comical. Yeah. You, you know, as I look at the as I look at the names of the beer of the beers up there. You know, I could, I could imagine how the conversations go mm -hmm. in your head. Someone, what do you have? I want a light beer. A Kolsch is a light beer. <laughs> yes. I can, is, is that how the conversations go? Yes. yes. Okay. I usually go, I just got, I got the beer for you. Let me pour it. Right. We're like, what's your lightest? And then Here I'll you tell go. You. Yeah. Yeah. The I, description I really is the lightest beer it, we uh, have. Yeah. The, the lightest beer we have. Mm -hmm. Right. And but somebody already has that. So. Oh, really? No. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. I'm and sure. and it, it, um, I like the IPA and it could be taken two different ways. I'll have an IPA. Oh, one of those. <laughs> I never yeah. thought of it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Give me one of those. <laughs> yeah, we but, had a lot of fun with the names. Yeah, they, uh, that's that, and that's you know, that's part of the fun that you can mm -hmm. have doing it is naming mm -hmm. the beers and yeah. uh, and giving it that kind of uh, background. Now, as far as the location, did you want to be in this particular area and then arrived at this particular location? Yeah, we really we definitely wanted to be, want to be in Lower Township. Yeah, Lower Township was our goal, and um, we looked everywhere. Everywhere. So we found this property a year before we bought it, uh, before we even put an offer in. So we found it, we walked through it, and we said, there's no way we can afford it. So we looked for a whole nother year, all over the place, still couldn't find something. So like, why are we telling ourselves no? Let's let the bank tell us no. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people, the first bank did say no. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they were Just probably smarter. Yeah. And we tried again, and the second bank said yes. You know, So I feel like that's another success story in itself, too, You know, is that we could have easily given up, but we said this is what we want. And uh, we were passionate about buying this property, and we're very grateful that we did get mm -hmm. it. It was a couple of... Yeah, it was a really <laughs> big, great yeah. property. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. Some property and yeah, there's plenty of outdoor space. The bike path is right on along yep. there, plenty of parking. Mm -hmm. Um, and we did close on the building in April of 2020, which was right oh, smack dab at the beginning of the pandemic. I'm COVID. Nice yeah. to meet you. So <laughs> after wow. two years, this is the first time we walked at it, because it took us a year to close. Mm -hmm. Here we are now sitting, closing in the middle of the pandemic, and we were just kind of looking like, well. At least we'll have time <laughs> to get it right. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, here we go. Yeah. Ready or not. Did they have to, like, hand the paper <laughs> under the door to you for you to That's, sign? They and were talking about, back? yeah, like, yeah. everybody being in their car and somebody passing, passing it around. around it's like, car. we had to be in separate rooms, yeah. so. I, I, you know, I do remember, you know, doing something with us, refinancing, and I remember, and my wife is actually here. Here as our studio audience tonight, and I remember the guy was out in the car in the pouring rain yeah. and would call me saying, okay, I'm coming to your door now, and mm -hmm. ring the doorbell and leave it in a plastic bag in front of yep. the door, we'd bring it in, yeah, and then he'd talk to me, tell me where you have to sign it right yep. there through that. So it was very, very strange time. Especially yes. April 2020. Yes. Nobody, everybody was... Really knew what was going no, on. No, we, yeah. all you right saw was the refrigerator here. trucks up in New York City. You're like, oh my God, is this... And exactly. They're playing the movie Outbreak on yeah. the TV, and you're like, oh, crap. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Now, uh, let's talk uh, really briefly, because I think we're going to be taking a break in another minute or so. Mm -hmm. The design, Bear Brewing, the logo you have, et cetera. Where did that, who designed that? Did you design that, Kat? Or? So, no, we actually designed it together, and I think we were so highly inebriated that we, we can't remember who did it, actually. <laughs> um, we were, had one too many beers, of course, and like I said, we had a sketch pad out, and we wanted it to be a bear. Then Stephen was like, okay, we can make it a bear and a water molecule. That'll be the ears. I'm like, okay, cool. And then I'm like, what about the nose? Let's make it a pint glass. And then we originally had a pint glass, but it looked a little too mean. So we switched to, you know, the this happy glass. bear. The happy bear. Mm -hmm. And we got some pushback from people thinking it was like a winery, but then once we reinforced it all with our, our glass, we're right here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you do mm -hmm. all of the so. everything Which looks, I like. Everything looks better. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah. Everything <laughs> it looks a little bit of class. A class. Yeah. It really does. Isn't and I it? do like to think we're a little classy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we try. Usually on a budget, we everyone. are. Everyone. Yeah. I know. Class uh, on a budget. Is that yes. <laughs> my wife and family and friends, everyone always here, everything looks better in a pint class like this. So, I agree. <laughs> in a uh, couple of minutes, we're going to take a break with our sponsors at Brew You, and we'll actually drink some of these beers out of these glasses. So, uh, we will be right back. Brew You is the app to send and receive drinks. Buying a drink with Brew You is easy. First, select a recipient, choose the location, and then pick a drink from their menu and send it out. It's easy to stay connected with the people you care about with Brew You. 
Whether it's a birthday or promotion, or just because, sending a drink with BrewU is great for any occasion. When someone buys you a drink, you'll receive a notification with the details and the drink will be stored in the app until you redeem it. When you're ready to redeem a drink, follow the prompts and show the bartender the confirmation screen. Once your drink is received, close it out on the app and say thanks. Then, cheers! You just received your first drink on BrewU. Available for download on the App Store and Google Play Store. Okay, we are back. Thank you to our friends from BrewU. Remember, sign up for that. And you could buy Friends beer. You could buy Tama beer. You I could buy Mia beer all, all over the place. So, uh, you know, you could buy beers all over different uh, places that actually participate. So, you know, this is the point where Richard would have yelled at me for our off-camera conversation <laughs> while we were on the break because he always says, save it for the show, save it for the show. So we found that that uh, Kat was on the sailing team in college. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes I was. <laughs> on the was sailing team fun. in college, yes. yeah. Wow. And that is like total Kate May. Yes. Really? It really is. It I've been really doing my whole is. life, yeah. so it's kind of a no-brainer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was a I, fun time. I grew up in Quarteret, so they were, the sailing team was a cardboard box in the middle of the, <laughs> in the, middle of the Arthur Kill. Uh, that, was, that was the sailing team at Quarteret High School. So. We want to talk about some of the beers here. Absolutely. At Bear. So we're at a brewery. Well, first also, I also do want to point out, you know, Johnny has had some shots of some of the merchandise we hear. You know, we talked a little bit about the about the logo, et cetera. This is some of the merchandise you have featuring the logo, including a delicious smelling candle there, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There, so that's some of our merchandise. But let's talk about the beers here. Now, I know when we came in, the first beer that, that we all had was the ESB. Yes, the Winnie. So yep. Talk a little bit about it. This is called the Winnie. Yep. Uh, so the Winnie is uh, back from the homebrew days. I had a friend, uh, Chris Markham, who had a beer, uh, the Biscuits and Honey, mm -hmm. that I loved the beer, and I asked him. When I was working at Cape May, I said, hey, would you mind if we brewed this at Cape May? And he said, yeah, go for it. So we shared the recipe and, you know, we kind of upscaled it and tweaked it a little bit. And it was one of my favorite beers that they had. So mm -hmm. naturally, when I opened the brewery, I wanted to kind of bring my version back. And uh, it's got biscuit malt, it's got honey malt, okay. it's got, uh, we do three pounds per barrel of honey from about two miles away from the brewery. Awesome. So it's super local. Keeping it local. local. Yep. Love it. Helps so, your allergies. Friend of mine. Then, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, a friend of ours has beehives, and I asked him, I said, hey, can I get like 10 pounds of honey every every month from you? And he's, okay, I'll make it work. <laughs> yeah. So it's nice. Very cool nice. bees. Yeah. A very, very nice beer. Beautiful col mm -hmm. color. And Unfortunately, mine's gone, but we have a small one. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I don't, the ESB. <laughs> You know, extra special bitter. And this is this is the taster of yes, it. Yes, that's the taster. Mm -hmm. um, and everybody's everybody's oh, I don't like bitter beer, but it's it's not it's not it's with the malt sweetness and the honey. Mm -hmm. Toasty malt, yeah. It's just it's that nice thirst quenching mm -hmm. brown malty ale. So. You can actually taste the honey in it. Yep. It's honey not heavy at all. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's got lots of flavor. Yeah, that's that's kind of our theme too, is to keep everything dry, mm -hmm. make it refreshing and drinkable. Mm -hmm. And also keep things as local as possible. Like we yeah. can source things locally. Like our candles are done from Shore Soaps. I went to high school with uh, the girl who owns that. Corinne. And this is Hello, Corinne. Corinne. Yes, yeah. so we'll do a little plug for Shore Soaps. We love them. And Leslie, we love them. And then, of course, the honey being local. is like Anything we can do local is a big thing for us. Mm -hmm. We try our best. Can't really? always, but we always try. <laughs> I think that's been the theme of most breweries, mm -hmm. but especially... Kame County Breweries, because there is be. so much stuff, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we're very lucky. Yeah. yeah, we're very lucky to be in this town where there yeah. is an abundance of local ingredients to get to use. So. A little bit of agricultural down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So. And, and you, you know, that's one thing, you know, I had mentioned it to Tom, mentioned it to my wife, to the one thing uh, when uh, uh, last month they had the Mud Hen anniversary. Oh, right. and so much All the Kame <laughs> Breweries were represented there. Yeah. Everyone was represented there. The sense of family and community is mm -hmm. really awesome to see. Yeah, it really amongst is. the Cape May breweries. This, is that like that everywhere? The breweries it kind just of is. I think. I hope so because it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they most breweries. Yeah, I mean, the support. Is so at least nice. in this area that I know mm -hmm. of. Yeah. Like if somebody needs, you know, there's always dealing going on. Hey, I need. Mm -hmm. 
couple of pounds of this. Mm -hmm. yep. yes. Oh, I got that, but yep. I, yeah. mm -hmm. I got you know, we'll do a little trading. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll, uh, the brew and well, I'll, give, I'll give you an example. I, I you know, work at uh, Manafort, and I'm usually there once a week helping Cody oh, okay. with the brewing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, once a week helping with the brewing, and the other day, Ian from Battle River came in with a big, huge sack of sugar because they were out of sugar. So he said, oh, nice. he come in and said, here's your cup of sugar, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I love that. And come, so really there is a lot of camaraderie like that. The one thing about the Cape May um, at the Mudhead celebration, you know, you were presented with an award that night, I believe, mm. Steve. Uh, yeah. You know, as the sexiest brewer in Cape May County. Uh, yeah. And yeah. best beer chugger, too. <laughs> yeah. Sexiest brewer yeah. and fastest yeah. beer chugger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess, uh... Well, we're going to cover it. We're going we're gonna to do something a little fun with the chugging in okay. a little while, yeah, right yeah. toward the end. So, Johnny, mm -hmm. give us a countdown with five minutes left here, you know, because I know Steve won't need five minutes. Oh, Tom, Tom might, though. I don't know. I definitely would need at least five already. minutes. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know? Psyching him <laughs> so, t tell us about these other beer here. You know, we went to the ESV. Let's go from the, the light side here now. Uh, yeah, so this is our Kolsch. Uh, I really wanted something light that um, if you want a big hop head or you don't like the dark beers, you know, you can come in and grab a Kolsch. We call it Kolsch as a light beer, just kind of self explanatory. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it came out great. I think it's yeah. we, mm -hmm. we do lager it, so it uh, cleans okay. it out pretty good. Oh yeah, but oh, it's yeah. an ale yeast. Really nice. So if somebody nice. said, "Ah, oh, give me a lager," you know, light give lager, dark lager, like so mm -hmm. this definitely is a, a good, good summer beer. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, really nice. You could drink time. this all the time in the summer. Yeah, mm -hmm. like this, and it's light. It's five percent. You know, I actually noticed uh, there's really you know I know we're gonna try probably your highest. ABV beer, but you kind of are keeping in a low yeah. area as far as the alcohol level of your beers. Yeah, and that's kind of goes along with our theme where it's, mm -hmm. you know, we've got couches, we want to keep it relaxed cozy. and comfortable, cozy, mm -hmm. and we want you to come in and be able to have a couple beers and still be able to get home safely. Exactly, yeah. and you know, everybody's, got, you got a couple big boys, you got a big mm -hmm. boy up there, but that's, yep. and that one as we, long as you have one or two. Yeah, right. we, and we serve that in eight ounces only, mm -hmm. so it mm -hmm. helps with that too. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, we can come back to the Shandy. Let's talk about the 2-2 two -two right now. 2-2, two -two, yeah. Well, we opened on February 2nd, and so we wanted to do a two-month anniversary beer. Mm -hmm. And we were a little late, so we came out with it for 22. <laughs> so ah. it was close enough. But that's where the namesake comes from. But or it could really, be like yeah. a bear in a tutu. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Well, I believe we do like a groundhog in a tutu oh. if we ever like label it because <laughs> yeah. we open on Groundhog's Day. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. like that's my goal. Like if anyone knows uh, marketing or art for that, we got, we'll take yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just don't try to put one on a wild one. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> I still got scars. Oh boy. And it, it's a double IPA again mm -hmm. because it's two. really good. Uh, I'm really getting double, a lot of sweetness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Double dry hops, another two. It went in fermenter number two. It was our 22nd it's batch. It's our 22nd batch, which yeah. we also did by design. Uh, <laughs> and it, the style, it, it's it's uh, not hazy, hazy. No. So it's, yeah, it tastes hazy, it's a clear, but it's not. <laughs> well, doubles kind of go a little more clear, mm -hmm. but it's got a great flavor. And it's yeah, the first so beer we did. Yeah, I wonder if it tastes like that hazy, juicy, standard. but mm -hmm. it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it it, it's like that, but there's still sweetness behind it. Yeah. 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 You still have the sweetness in it. Yeah. It's uh, very drinkable. Yeah, we're proud of it. Like I said, it's our first one we did off of our standard eight, mm -hmm. which I'm proud of because like, opening a brewery with eight beers I thought was pretty, for us, I wasn't pretty impressed with that and happy. So this one mm -hmm. makes number nine, which... For being open three months isn't too bad. <laughs> no, no, that's great. And, and it's another thing too that we're trying to keep the same beers on tap. Because I know if you, you come to a birthplace and you like a beer, mm -hmm. you want to have that beer every time you come in. Mm -hmm. And when you switch it up all the time, you know, you, you never know which beer you You're like. You're gonna so get. Gonna... Personally, I like that though. Yeah. We go back and forth. So it's hard because we keep thinking like, let's get rid of like the two duds. But they're all selling so evenly, it's hard mm -hmm. to decide which one. Just to kick put it off. put it to rest for a little bit and bring yeah, it back. Bring it then back. it's yeah. then it's like, yeah. oh, it's on and tap again. We have more taps, and once we're able to keep up and we have more equipment, mm -hmm. right. we'll have you know a core, and then we'll rotate a couple. That looks more. like a core mm -hmm. four maybe, yeah. <laughs> and then like <laughs> rotate the rest around. Mm -hmm. That's all. Perfect. <laughs> Figuring. I'm all also that. like the basic girl. I I love a pumpkin beer in 
fall. Mm -hmm. I love a shandy mm -hmm. in the summer. I'm a seasonal and drinker I, I as like, well. I yeah, am yeah. too. Like I like stouts yeah, in the winter. Nice you know, I just, just still can't are. give up my my browns yeah. right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I do like stouts all year long too, mm -hmm. but like I do like those seasonal beers, and mm -hmm. we'd like to conform to that as well. Mm -hmm. but yeah. We do want to have a set beer that like. I guess I'd, I'd say solid four that you know you're always going to get. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, we haven't really figured what those are yet, but our top sellers rotate a lot. But Yeah, definitely the Shandy has, has been very Yeah, we were surprised there. with the Shandy opening in February. So we thought we were opening in July, as so most people two. know. Mm -hmm. And we got pushed back, uh, delayed, delayed. And so we already had the ingredients, though, for our summer list. And we were like, well, I guess we're opening in February with the Shandy. And believe it or not, it's been one of our top sellers. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, people just say it's refreshing and yes. they enjoy yeah. it, yeah. it is regardless nice. of the year, so yeah. exciting. <laughs> lemon, lemon shandy. Yep, it's when life gives you lemons. When yes. life gives, and that was kind of <laughs> the... It's very fitting. Our, yeah, exactly. yeah, that, that one kind of <laughs> came, that, that one kind of just that came wrote rolling. itself, right? Exactly, and it was one of those, like, we know other people haven't named that, but we are like, we need to have that. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh, we were handed a lot of lemons. It is very nice, very nice and refreshing beer. Mm -hmm. Now, now we can just get the 90 degree weather. Yes. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Wait, wait, wait. I know the weather is now, terrible. Now, one of the things that I also discovered at the at the party that Mudhand had is Stephen's special talent. Yeah. You have a very incredible special talent for beer chugging. Oh yes. Yep. And when beers. we were discussing this earlier, <laughs> I don't know if Tom ch did you challenge him, Tom? I. I Kind of did. Well, I said I, I'm not as fast as him, but I'll give a go. Oh, okay. So, I so I don't. Is that something that we can capture on film, possibly, Johnny? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Would both beers. of you want to want to take a, a break uh, sure. for a second? Yeah. Or, <laughs> I was like, I'm or you, are you beers. ready to go? She's ready. I'm gonna stand. Like we gotta. See, I don't <laughs> chug. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I don't chug, so I don't know how you prepare for whether you take deep breaths, whether you. Well, like, it's kind of like the roast pork, pork sandwich. You got to do a little punch. Times. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, we will uh, probably take a break for like two seconds, let these gentlemen prepare, and then we will be back with the ultimate chugging contest. This is we'll action, see. folks. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> wow, you know, to paraphrase Russell Crowe in Gladiator, you wanted entertainment, you got it. So, uh, on the spot commentary, congratulations to Steve, oh, yeah. the winner and still champion. Absolutely. Now, Tom, Tom, what was your actual strategy on that? Well, I did a little side eye and I saw how fast he was drinking, so I decided just to put to half of it. <laughs> down your shirt. Oh, my shirt. <laughs> you pour it down your shirt. That's really and I still had some left. That was the pisser of it all. <laughs> in, in the annals of, of chugging, that was really, that was epic. Yeah, I knew I had no chance, but yeah. I saw him in action at Mud Hand, so. Yeah, yeah. But it was, I gave a valid effort. So. You, did, you did, Tom. Definitely. You did, Tom. It was, uh, it was, uh, entertaining. really, it was, it was entertaining. And that's what, that's what we are here for, you know. Mm -hmm. If we're not here to entertain, why else would we? The sun is beautiful. The sun is coming beautifully through the window. You know what's amazing is that the sun is out. We haven't yes, seen it for a while. Yeah. It's freezing. I mean, this is the middle of May and I'm in flannel. Yeah. You know, normally I have my summer whites and pastels on by this time. So, <laughs> so but I'm here in flannel because it's still freezing outside. Still freezing outside here. So, um, great beers. Now, if I was to ask either of you, I know it's like choosing between children. What's your favorite beer? Mine's the pale, the pale ale, for sure. But I yeah. am generally yeah, right. in charge of that right, one, right. so I'm mm -hmm. biased. Mm -hmm. My second favorite is probably the tutu, which Stephen did all mm -hmm. by himself. So I can't take any credit for that. But he just I, yeah, that it. is delicious. Absolutely nailed it. The tutu is uh, it came out great. I, I still think Winnie is my favorite. It's the long history with it, and uh, it's just it's. Kind it's of like almost a, what they call like a brewer's beer. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a little sneaky on the side. Not many people go for it, mm -hmm. but, it's, but it's something you could drink five percent. Mm -hmm. Drink yeah. it easy. It, a couple while you're brewing, and, and really becoming a lot more popular. Once people realize breweries, what yeah. people know bitter what is, is just a word, yeah. Yeah. and do a little research on what it actually is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. 
Absolutely. Delicious, delicious beer. So. Thank you. Cool. Thank you both for having us here tonight. Now we want to talk a little bit, wrap up about the Bear Brewing. You got your official anniversary party coming grand up opening. soon. Grand opening. Grand opening, opening grand party. Opening. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're very blessed. We had a great opening day, uh, but we decided to hold a big event, yeah. almost like a festival in a way. Um, so we're going to have music all day long. We're going to do some giveaways. Um, really excited about it. We finally get to celebrate. You know, it's always such a special thing, opening a brewery, and now this is going to be a fun day. So we have yeah, uh, the, John Cadity playing, yeah. Kate May Carl, and then we're closing out with Animal House. So it's going to be a nice And that day. is May 19th? Oh, May 19th, yes, yeah, which is a Thursday. So starting at call out noon? on Friday. Yeah, starting at noon, noon to uh, 9. Yeah, all day. Nice. So literally all day. That's a good shift. All day. Yeah. Yes. That's a good long shift. <laughs> so this will be out probably the day or so before it, Johnny? So we'll see you tomorrow. Or maybe the day before, <laughs> the day it is. So we'll see you tomorrow <laughs> on, on this. Um, tell us uh, where people can find you, address, etc. So we're 513 Seashore Road, um, Cape May, New Jersey. We're open Thursday through Monday right now, 12 to 9. And that's about that's about it. We're you can't miss it. It's right <laughs> yeah, across from yeah. Church's, Church's Garden, Garden Center. Center. Yeah. Kind of a staple. All the locals no charges. Yeah. <laughs> we also like you can come by car, you can come by bike, we're right on the trail and uh, we have plenty of car and bike parking. So yes. now they go up to some campgrounds too. Correct? Yeah, we yeah. have lots of campgrounds around For us. For all you campers the out there. Yep, yeah, the trail like definitely a direct car uh, access to that. Yeah. Excellent. So awesome. Cheers. Thank you both for having us. It's Thank been a pleasure. Thank you guys. Tom, it has been a pleasure having you oh, here too, my friend. It's a pleasure. <laughs> pleasure having you here, uh, my friend. So uh, with that, again, this is Vic Vic's Basement Brew, brought to you by South Jersey Beer Scene. Uh, remember to follow us on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, South Jersey Beer Scene, uh, for this as well as some other excellent shows, including Alexa Street that we have on there and other presentations, etc. Also, our Facebook page, our Instagram page. Um, as far as myself, you know, you can find on Vic's Basement Brew different type of brewing or shenanigans that I am up to on that side also. So uh, with that, thank you guys again. Thank Cheers. You guys. Yeah. Do. And everyone, thank you so much for watch watching. Have a great night. Take care all. Good night.